listening to Ghost Rock Radio. My name is Shaman Black Bear. You might actually eventually at one point and someday those who are listening might actually get a show with me actually on it. And so then here's my voice doing a voiceover for Jay. Ha ha. So there you have it, folks. Upcoming up between me and Mr. Josh. freaking me out or are things planted with look and I found no definitive answer to that who created Randonautica who runs it who, who are the people behind the curtain they changed their name or whatever but as far as real life evidence of what it really is never seen an inkling anywhere and, and I've scoured the internet looking behind creepy, creepy pasta or, or of anything I haven't been afraid of anything since basically childhood uh, all my fears I've, I've faced um However, it doesn't make me stupid. And I cannot picture myself actually using Randonautica. Uh, at least not alone. Like if I had a group of people with me, I might do it. You know, so that it's more than one or two people. But... I don't know, because the the question is, is, is how sinister is it? Like I said, as far as I know, nobody's ever been hurt, but it doesn't mean they haven't. And I am, um, like I said, I'm not afraid, but I am cautious because I'm intelligent. You know, I'm... I'm it's a, it's not false bravery to say I'm not afraid of stuff. Internet anytime you're really in your face with the the creep factor, i.e. the lady with the black eyes as I've described. Um, my buddy Josh, who uh, from Tippa that I explained at the beginning of the show. In one of his episodes, they go out on this adventure. I believe it was actually the same episode where where they were in this saw the Skinwalkers, but I might be mistaken. Uh, in any case, on one of their adventures, they found a discarded Ouija board in a bush. Now, I've made it no secret that I do not like Ouija boards. Um, not because they're necessarily inherently bad, but simply because there's no control built in. But that's me. You know, some people view it as a valid tool for investigation. Some people view it as a toy, which I think is stupid. To be honest, it is not a toy. It's the farthest thing from it. Um, like you want to call Dybbuk Box a toy. Just because I've never seen a Randonautica video, Randonautica, so, you know, get, but with, with like, these teenagers finding these body parts and, and with, like, the black-eyed woman, it, it just makes me think, what side are you on? Because if you're, you're a parent, uh, in any case, uh, it seems almost inadvertent, but yeah, it's like, like this, it's almost genius, to be honest, the, the kind of mystery that they built around themselves, it, it's almost like they're operating as a cult in some ways, like, because it's so secretive, who, who, Whose members of Randonautica, who's just using the app, you know, 
How do you know? It's almost brilliant. Hell, it is brilliant. But it, it still that question's there, like, and they're all about intention, too. Like, which makes me question it even further in a way. Like, if you're so worried about intention, who's behind it? And what are you trying to figure out? Why, why are you, you know, stalking people or, or planning, you know, things to scare people? What, like, what are you getting out of it? Is it pure kicks or is there something more involved? And I think until Randonautica really has a face, I don't think we'll ever know the answers to that. Unless somebody, you know, comes forward that knows something. Um, I mean, in a way, I kind of understand the secrecy because um, you just don't know anything. And maybe I have trust issues. Or maybe it's something else. I don't know. But I have a hard time picturing myself using an app like that without knowing who's behind it. Hold on a sec. I just got a message that, uh, a me you know, talk me down or whatever. Created it, you know. Who created all this stuff? 